welcome to On The Chopping Block's Top 5. Top 5! And today we're going to be discussing Top 5 Sword Fights in Film. My number 5, it's kind of a, a pretty shitty one, but I still enjoy really? it. Really? It's yeah. like a shitty one that's on your Top 5? Yeah. Fantastic. This uh, Fellowship of the Ring, Aragorn vs. Lurtz. Yeah. It's super quick. It's honestly like a minute fight, two minutes fight, but it's, it's a good sword fight though. But it's so tense. Yeah, it it's is. Just like it's such yeah. a tense sword fight. It's, it's just like, vicious because it's so Lurtz brutal. is big and he's just a bad. I like the Hobbit films. Lord of the Rings is real gritty and real, mm. and so Lurtz punching Aragorn, he's spitting blood yeah. out. Yeah. And the noises when the swords clash, it's like it sounds yeah. so hard out. Hard steel. You and yeah, it. like they're building up Lurtz for the half half of the film, of him chasing down the Fellowship. Mm. You know, so it's just the big moment. You're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna and they. Uh, Aragorn stabs him and then Lurtz kind of okay. go, and he goes even he grabs him pushes him closer oh, it's, it's real good. it's good yeah. cuts his head off and every time I saw it the cinema applauded yeah. yeah like good job <laughs> my number five is a scene from the film Hero with Jet Li and this scene is Jet Li versus Donnie Yen tremendous just like I remember watching that film and being captivated by like awesome use of slow-mo and just the choreography, like the wide shots, they were just holding on these beautiful wide shots. Yep. They're just going at each other at full speed, and it just, it's magic. Oh, there's so many good sword fights in Hero, but for that one particularly, like, resonated with me. I really enjoyed that one. A sword fight, but it is. It's uh, from Troy. Hector vs. Achilles. Right. Yep. This is the big sword fight that happens about halfway through the film where Hector has to fight for his brother. So there's revenge there. He wants to revenge his cousin. Family issues. Family issues. Family issues. It's all done in front of Troy and it's freaking bad. I still fight. And yeah, when the swords come out, once again, it's just it's just every hit you hear, you know, like like with Lurtz and Aragorn. There's an echo every yeah. time there's a something because it's a sounds... wide space. It's no, it's not flashy. It's brutal yeah. and real, and there's yeah. dirt everywhere, and it's yeah. just that's what a sword fight should look like. Yeah, you know? like it's just yeah. I, that movie's really underrated in my opinion. I really like Troy, and um, that's a good film. That's the highlight. The director's yeah. cats movie. Really. Yeah. Get up, Prince of Troy. Get up. Won't let a stone take my glory. My numero quattro or number four is Gladiator, the end scene with Maximus and Dickhead. Dickhead. Yeah, um, yeah. Maximus is fighting the Emperor in the arena. It's like a one-on-one -on -one duel, and it's not the flashiest of sword fights, but emotionally, it's all there. Mm. Maximus has been wounded, so he's already got a disadvantage. He's lost everything. He's almost got nothing to lose, but he keeps fighting, 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 fighting to his dying breath, and at the end, he managed to take the Emperor out. <laughs> The fight is just tense, and because, yeah, you know that there's, you know, one of the two is going to die, mm. and you're hoping it's the, the bad other, guy. The bad guy, yeah. There's not, I don't think there's any music during that whole fight scene. It's all sound effects and just like dirt ruffling mm. and, and clinking, and then the music comes in at the end. But it's tremendous. Yeah, tremendous. <laughs> My number three is a very good film. You might be annoyed it's so it's an, it's not too lower on my list. Right, right. Lower on my list, but um, it's the final battle in Kill Bill Volume One. Number three. Yep. Number, number three. three for me. Okay. Yep. Yep. Hey, uh, number three. Let me finish. Yep. Let me finish. Nope. Let me finish. Nope. Between the bride and Oren Hishi. Oren Hishi. Oren Hishi. Uh, this is after. That's on your number three. You can't even get the name right. Come on, man. God damn it. It's just such a peaceful scene. There's no music playing. No. It's very quiet. There's a beautiful water fountain. It's like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no music. It's just it's, it's just, like a tempo to it's it. It's real quiet, yeah. and she kind of comes to accept that she's gonna die almost. Mm. It's like an old school Japanese samurai. Yeah, flag. definitely. Yeah, you yeah. Know, with the the snow and the outside. Beautiful, and... Beautifully shot. Yeah. So uh, just like an old style. Mm. Exactly. Because yeah, it starts off silent, but then there's this pretty beautiful song, um, "Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood," which starts playing in there in the background. Yeah. And uh, just as they cut fire, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's a brilliant scene. Well done for putting on your top five tab. Yes, thank you. You know more about it than me. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> no, but no, it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> My number three is what Taylor's number four was, I think, Troy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so same same sword fight, Achilles and Hector, tremendous, tremendous scene. Again, there's not much more I can say about it other than like, I think it deserves higher up on the list because yeah. what I love about the two characters is that there's two different fighting styles. Uh, Achilles is very fast, quick and maneuverable and he's, he's using a lot of leaps yeah. and he always goes on the side. Uh, Hector's very strong, he's defensive and uh, it works, you know, and, and, and 
Achilles even says in the movie, you know, I've never fought an opponent as great as Hector before, and mm. I don't think I ever will. And so it's a mutual respect between the two, even though emotions got the best of Achilles. Mm. But yeah, tremendous scene, great, great choreography, and, and, and you know, sword fight. It's um, yeah, it's tremendous, really good. <laughs> Uh, my number two, I was torn, I didn't know which one to pick from the Pirates films. Pirates? It's a pirate one, and I didn't know which one to pick, and I went with the first do, do, sword do, do, fights. Do, do, do. Yeah, the first on. sword fight in the first one, which was Will and Jack in the armory. That's the a good one. Run. Yeah, yeah. It's a typical old school pirate sword fight, you know? They've got the cutlasses, yeah. fancy footwork, yeah. and there's great banter between the characters yeah. in the scene. Yeah. You're not a eunuch, are you? I almost picked the wheel battle in the set Dead Man's Chest when That's they're on the wheel. Yeah, the yeah, that is with a good But yeah. I just went at the first one. That was yeah. the first one I saw before. Yeah. This is a pirate movie, you know? Yeah, I love it. Like, Emery pulls out the pistol. Yeah. And he's like, You cheated. Pirate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's, a, yeah, yeah. it's good chemistry yeah. between the characters and um yeah, just there was the first sword fight and I was like, Well, I'm in for a real treat of a movie. Mm. My number two is Kill Bill Volume One as well, but a different sword fight. The, the scene that Kill Bill Volume 1 is known for is definitely the House of Blue Leaves, so the crazy 88 fight, which is the bride taking on 88 of them, or as Bill says, I don't think there's really 88 of them, they just call themselves the crazy 88 because they think it sounds cool. Just the whole scene is tremendous, it's gory, it, the music blaring, and there's just blood screaming, and there's just chaos, and the bride is just slashing dudes up left, right, and yeah. center, and it goes black and white, and it reference old school Japanese samurai yeah, movies. A lot of different styles. Yeah, a lot of different styles. A beautiful lighting technique. <laughs> Great layers to it. And the, the cinematography and editing is tremendous. Music like, as well. Just go, yeah. Music's so good. So that's, what I mean. that's what makes a good sword fight. Having all those, you know, the emotional drama and the elements and all that stuff building up together. My number one is, without a doubt, the greatest sword fight in film history. I've said earlier that I liked Troy for being realistic and mm. not flashy, and ironically, my number one is a flashy sword fight, but it, it is Princess Bride. <laughs> you seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. It is so well done, honestly. Yeah. It is yeah. honestly such a well done sword fight. You don't... And there's no quick cuts, you see all the action. You yeah. know? All of yeah. it's real. The actors actually learn yeah. how to fight and use swords, mm. and you see everything. Yeah. And it's, it's always been thing. referenced in other movies too. Like yeah, every, I think it's well known as the best sword fight in film. Everybody mm. agrees, and it's because it is. You're using Bonetti's defense against me, huh? I thought it fitting, considering the rocky terrain. Honestly, they fight left handed, then they fight right handed, yeah. and they're jumping all over the place. Yeah. And, you, and like there's I woody remarks, woody remarks between yeah. them. I admit it, you are better than I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't know. And what is that? I am not left-handed. And like I said, you see it all. Mm. You see all the fighting. It's no like quick close-ups. You know, no. so they're cheating. There's no. no stunt doubles. It's two actors yeah. that learn how to sword fight. Yeah, and did it really well. Thank you. I'm sure I don't have to say check it out. If you haven't seen Princess Bride, shame on you. It's one of the greatest films of all time. Yeah. It's got it's got every genre you can think of mixed into one film. So yes. check it out. But also that sword fight. Look it up on YouTube. It's well done. I'm not left-handed either. My number one is not The Princess Bride, uh, because personally I don't have a super personal at, at, uh, attraction to The Princess Bride, even though it's not a down tailor. So I, my number one is Jewel of the Fates from Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Now before all the haters go, ooh, Phantom Menace, shit, and like keep going, Jewel of the Fates, hands down, is one of the greatest lightsaber fights. Yeah, definitely. And, um, and, I'm, and, and I'll argue that it is a sword fight, because it is, even though they're using laser swords. Mm -hmm. But yeah, tremendous, like with John Williams' the score, The Jewel of Fates, and uh, just having um, Darth Maul versus Obi-Wan Obi and Qui-Gon Jinn, just tremendous. And there's just a match of skill between everyone. They're very evenly matched. The, the ending's tre tremendous because, you know, Qui-Gon gets separated from Obi-Wan and now Qui-Gon's taken on Darth Maul. The tension's building. The tension's, tension's building, music, yeah. yeah. And then, spoiler alert, um, Qui-Gon gets killed. <laughs> Liam Neeson's always gets 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 a hard hard kick. Liam Neeson's is my shiznit. 
Obi-Wan's gutted and then uh, Darth Maul is just like a rabid dog pacing back and forth between the barrier mm-hmm. and then you see Obi-Wan just getting jacked up yeah, and then he's just really like and then he's just like boom and he goes at it and there's this um, and there's this beautiful choreography when they're just going at it <laughs> Yeah, again, just a beautiful mixture of music, choreography, you know, the camera and, and the editing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just like, again, what makes a great fight scene. Mm. Or even a, a lot of people fight. bash on the prequels, but I, yeah. I, I think everyone agrees the lightsaber fights were it's amazing. Amazing. I don't quite agree that it counts as a sword fight, but um, I will say that is one of the better lightsaber fights. Why don't you think it counts as a sword fight? Because swords are metal. Lightsabers are not metal. It's sparkly, glowy magic stuff. I don't know. I don't know the Star Wars lore. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, info on the movies down below. You can go check those out if you haven't seen them. And uh, we've got a few other top fives that will be coming out, as well yep. as our movie reviews mm-hmm. and other content that we have on our channel. So please go and visit that stuff. Like and subscribe. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Look at You can't say no to this puppy face. Look, look at those. Let's actually settle this. I mean, <laughs> why on earth don't you like Princess Bride? <laughs>